Hi, I'm Stephen, I'm one of the vets at Yorkshire Vets. Today I'm going to be talking about heart murmurs. Well, the first thing you need to know is what is a heart murmur? So when we're having a listen to the chest, we're listening to the noise, bub 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 bub. That's the one that everyone's familiar with. It's actually the noise of the heart valve snapping shut. So it's a snap shut, you're hearing it in the beating phase and then in the resting phase and that's when you hear the two different noises. So I think the next thing to do is to have a look at the model so we can explain this a little bit further. So this is a model of a heart. I'm just gonna open it up and show you what happens inside. You've got the two atrium up here and the two ventricles down the bottom there. And blood will fill into the atrium, it'll pump through the valves into the ventricles and the ventricles then pump it to the other parts. And there's a valve up there and there's another valve on here and that stops the blood then flowing back and these stop the blood flowing back up here. So an atrium pumps blood into a ventricle and then it pumps and these valves aren't shutting properly We'll get some blood jetting up there and we'll hear that as a murmur and we call that an incompetent valve. Other problems can happen where the valve is too narrow so you hear a jetting noise going that way and we call that a stenotic valve. Some rare occasions we'll get holes in the heart here and because the left side is dominant over the right we'll hear some blood jetting that way and there's some other problems where some of these blood vessels up here can have little remnant blood vessels connecting them and we can hear murmurs up there as well. So essentially a murmur just means that we're hearing a loud jetting noise instead of hearing the valves snapping shut as they would normally do. So I hope that explains what heart murmur is. Now the next stage is trying to work out which murmur it is so we know how serious it is, so we know whether they need medication now or whether they're going to be fine for years to come and they might need medication in the future. And to do that we use the ultrasound machine. The ultrasound machine allows us to look at whether the heart's the right size or whether it's too big or whether the muscle is too thick or whether the valves are leaking or narrow and we can add colour on top of this it'll let us know the blood flow velocities and that can help with making the diagnosis as well. I hope this explains everything you need to know about heart murmurs, but if not, then please feel free to leave comments in the box below. If you have any other suggestions on other videos you'd like to see, again, you can leave that in the comments below. You can follow us by subscribing to YouTube. You can also follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, or go to yorkshirevet.co.uk.